looks like we're up and running. So thanks everybody for joining us today. We'll, we'll give it the traditional one to two minutes, let everybody uh, get into the, uh, the room here and get the live going over on Facebook and all that. We're going to be talking about how to attract listings from your SOI with video messages. So this is definitely going to be a very powerful uh, presentation. Uh, it's not actually all that complicated to do. So hopefully this is something you can use pretty much right away. Uh, I guess if you want to let us know in the in the comments while we're waiting here where you're where you're watching from, that's always fun. So let us know in the chat where you're streaming this from today. Yeah, and do you have snow on the ground? Right. You still got any snow on the ground out there by you, Jeff, or is it all no, multiple? It, it was it was pretty much gone last yesterday, the same day it hit. Right. It was like six hours or so and then it was gone pretty much. That was crazy though. Seeing snow in the end of April. <laughs> yeah, it was crazy. Stupid is what, it, what I would call it. Right. Well, fortunately, it didn't seem to disrupt much, but that was oh. surprising, to say the least. <laughs> All kinds of Louisiana. Welcome, Louisiana. Oh, uh, Hawaii. Wait, wait to just rub it in, Eileen. Yeah. <laughs> Portugal, Elsa, welcome from across the pond. Love that. Denver, it's snowing. That's probably not abnormal. Right. <laughs> Perfect in Arizona, apparently. Let's yeah, probably in Vegas too. Yeah, it's still kind of cold today here, but it's not like it was. What was the high yesterday? Thirty-four. Something. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so crazy. All right. Well, uh, let's see. I don't know if we're live yet on Facebook, but we are. Uh, oh, yep. Yeah, looks like we are. Cool. We ready to roll? Let's do it, man. We got the man, the myth, to join us. All right, he's here. Cool. Well, let's get started, folks. We got some good stuff for you today. Like I said, we're going to be talking all about how to attract listings from your SOI. And it says with these video messages, because I'm actually going to give you two scripts that you can specifically use um, to do this, which is pretty cool. All right. So here's what we're going to do. Let's go ahead and get started. We got a lot to cover. Um, let's start out by talking about this. Why, why does this work? Right. So you're here because you saw the title and you saw the description. You thought, you know, hey, video messages and I'm going to get listings. You know, that, that sounds cool. Um, but I want to talk for a second about why this is something that actually has an impact because it is pretty cool how this works. So there's two reasons, and, and this might not be the only two reasons, but these are the two that we've definitely identified so far that make this so effective, right? Number one, and we say this all the time, is that video is simply a better form of communication, right? Now, video is not a, it's not better than face-to-face. -face. We want to be face-to-face -face whenever we can, but there are all kinds of situations, even when there isn't a massive pandemic going on, where we can't meet face-to-face, -face, right? And we want to have other ways that are, that are virtual or remote that we can communicate with someone. So compared to all of those, video is always going to win. It's going to win because you can see the person, right? You can hear the person, you can watch their facial expressions, you can, you know, see what their body language is. And so, you can understand what they're trying to communicate to you more thoroughly, right? It's a lot harder to misunderstand a video message than it is to misunderstand a text message, right? Or even misunderstand a voicemail that somebody leaves for you and take it out of context or something like that. So that's the first part of this is that when you just simply compare putting a video of yourself in front of somebody versus the same information, maybe through a text message or something along those lines, you're going to get better results. People understand what you're saying more effectively. They pay more attention to it and they are more likely to respond, all right? Now that is always going to be true. Video is, is always gonna be a more thorough form of communication. That doesn't mean you replace everything you do with video. There's still plenty of situations where a text is, is more than enough, but there's lots of places where you could probably right off the bat replace some of what you're doing, some of the updates you're sending to customers, some of the frequently asked questions that you get, that kind of stuff, we're just replacing it by video, you'll very quickly see a positive impact on your business, right? So that's number one, is it's just a better form of communication. People like seeing videos and you're gonna continue to see more and more of that. However, there's a second reason that this works super, super well right now, but this part will go away. And that is the fact that this is still novel. And so what I mean by that, it means that this is something that people are not seeing on a regular basis. They're not getting a lot of personalized video messages. They might be seeing videos on social media. They're, they're getting used to watching lots of video content, but they're not necessarily getting these messages. And I'll give you an example. I sent a personalized video to a broker about a year and a half ago in the St. Louis area. It runs one of the biggest offices in town. And she invited me to come speak in her office simply because I sent her a video message. It was the first time she'd seen anything like it totally blew her mind. And she immediately responded. I was like, this is really cool. Best cold email I've ever gotten. Let's talk, right? 
pretty powerful stuff. Now that will not be true. And, it, and that, like I said, that was a year and a half ago. She's probably gotten several video messages since then. And it's not nearly as interesting anymore, right? Well, that's not necessarily true for your clients. Your clients probably haven't gotten any video messages and they probably haven't gotten any from a real estate agent. So the first few times you do this, it's just simply interesting, right? Someone's going to see it. They're going to be curious. They're like, what is this? I've never seen a video that looks like this. I've never seen something in my email looks like this before. They're going to click on it. They're going to pay attention to it. And the nice part of that, and what we're going to talk about today is that you can actually be pretty promotional in these messages. So that's a nice aspect of this is you can get out there and just simply say, hey, are you thinking about listing a home? They're going to watch it. They're going to pay attention to it. And you're going to get some responses, even though that is pretty promotional. All right. Now, here's why I'm pointing that second part out. If you wait and you don't start sending these one to one video messages sometime soon, you will miss out on the opportunity to get that additional benefit. All right. Now, it doesn't mean it's not going to be worth doing in six months. It just means it's not going to be quite as effective as it is today. And that is always true of any new marketing technique. If you're doing something and everybody else starts doing it too, it will lose its effectiveness because it just simply is happening more often, all right? So that's always true. It's definitely true for video messaging. And so if you can do this now, you're gonna see phenomenal benefits, all right? So next thing I wanna talk about before we get into how to actually do this, which is what most of this presentation is on today, is I wanna give you a case study. I wanna tell you about an example and you've probably already heard a little bit about Carla because we use this in a lot of our messaging for this webinar. So Carla has been a student with us for just a few months now. Actually, I think she's probably in her third month at this point. And she took our first course. Our first course in our school focuses a lot on how to learn to make a really simple video with just a phone, no equipment, not using a, much editing. And then we finished the course by talking about video messaging, one-to-one -one video messages. So those are video messages that are designed and, and read and, and sort of delivered for a particular person, which means you usually say their name in the message, which makes it very personalized. And so what she did is she came up with a little bit of a script and I'm actually gonna show you that script here in a few minutes so you can take a copy for yourself. And she went through and she sent personalized video messages, right? So she just recorded herself saying essentially the same thing into her phone camera. Um, and she just changed the intro when she said the person's name. She sent 75 video messages over the course of two weeks. And at the end of the second week, at that point, she'd already set six listing appointments and had secured two listings, all right? Now she's not done, those are not her final stats. So we're gonna check in with her every few weeks for a while as she continues doing this, cause she's totally bought in now. She's not gonna stop sending video messages anytime soon. And we're gonna continue to see the results she gets. But think about that impact, right? How long do you think it actually takes to send 75 video messages? I mean, maybe a minute or two to record it, maybe a couple more minutes to send it or text it, however you're doing it maybe a few hours of time, it's not much, right? That's really not a huge time commitment to get two listings. Think about the commission she's gonna make off of those two transactions. And I'm not even talking about the buyer leads that she got. She has a few nurtures that she's working on there. She had a few people reach out and say, hey, this is awesome, I'm gonna do everything I can to support you. Um, let me ask all of my family and friends if they're thinking about listing and I'll see if I can find anybody um, that can help. I, they probably didn't use the word listing, but they're, they're thinking about selling their house, right? So that's, that's just a quick case study for you. And I'm gonna show you here in just a second um, uh, the script for this video, but I do wanna ask you this. So let, let me know in the chat, I'm gonna stop my share for just a second to get this ready. Let me know if you'd like to see her video or if you'd like to see an example of the videos that she was sending. Let me know in the chat. I'm gonna, I'm gonna assume a few of you are gonna say yes. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull it up real quick. Nick, where was she based out of? Um, do you know Vanessa where she's, where Carla's based out of? I do not know actually, Jeff. Apologize for that, but here's your video. So I'm gonna pull it up real quick and then we'll do a little screen share. I'm sending this SOS. All right, here we go. So I say a bunch of yeses, I appreciate that. Thank you. Just wanna make sure everybody was down to, to watch this quick example with us here. All right, let me make sure I don't screw this up. I'm gonna do that one more time, make sure I share the computer sound. I, I sometimes forget to do that. There we go. Computer sound shared, optimized for video clip. Here is Carla's video. Now, before I share this, I wanna give you a little bit of context. This is a version that she recorded to share with her fellow students in the school. So you'll notice she doesn't say a particular person's name at the beginning. And she also, I think, added a little bit of music. I, you don't need the music, so don't feel like that's a required part of this. That was just something she added to practice some editing skills. 
Um, and you want to obviously personalize this. So when I show you the script here in just a second, you'll see how you can tweak it. But I just wanted to, to understand that before I hit play here. Here we go. Hello, ladies and gents. This is Carla Alanis. Now, I'm sending this SOS to everyone I know. Do you remember the great toilet paper shortage of 2020? Well, I'm glad we survived that epic time in our country. Now, today, I want to SOS you about the great housing shortage of 2020. Now, this almost seems like the end of the world for some families looking for houses out there. So I want to ask, do you or someone you know has been thinking, rem even remotely thinking about selling their home because sellers are getting premium pricing for their properties right now because of the awesome demand. So who should I talk to? Uh, let me know who I should be sharing some options to and you could be the hero of a family or two. I hope to talk to you soon. All right, there you go. What do you guys think? Jeff and Tristan, what do you think of that? And that was just a shot on his cell phone. No app, no bomb bomb, no nothing like that, right? Did she have where'd she get the music from so the music which it wouldn't be normally something we'd, we'd recommend bothering with but the music was uh probably from the editing software she used i'm not sure if she used like viva video or something like that but sounds like a track's probably just built into one of those editors dude Super that was simple. that was really good i love the she went right into it with a story she had props the toilet paper <laughs> yeah, the props are smart, right? I mean, because, you know, like, like any video, that's one thing you're going to want to keep in mind with these messages. You want to have a hook. You want to have something that grabs attention, something that gets people to pay attention. The easiest hook in my, in my experience uh, is just to write somebody's name on a whiteboard and hold that up, right? That's a really easy way to get their attention. Um, but there's lots of ways you can do it, right? So the, I think props are a great idea. I think that's something she did really well here. Um, the other thing I'll mention is, is that she put a lot of energy and, and sort of, can, you know, she, it felt very conversational, right? It didn't feel like she was, she was reading a script, even though that was scripted, that was the same message she sent to everybody. Um, so obviously that's a great example. And I will say Carla has some experience making videos. So if you do this for the very first time and you find that you feel a little bit rigid or you're not coming across as natural as that, that's okay, right? You're going to get there. She has a fair amount of practice at this point. Um, but that, that, there you go, right? I'm going to show you the script here in just a second, but what I wanted to do is just highlight a few, few things here. We've already kind of talked about them. One other thing I'll mention before we move on is when you send these personalized messages, one thing we've found helps is to ask the person who's receiving it for help. All right. Now, not every time we're, we're going to, we're really talking about like, let's keep that in context, right? Right now we're talking about how to get listings directly from your SOI. We're not talking about a long-term strategy to nurture your sphere of influence. So you shouldn't just send that message over and over and over again, because it will get uh, annoying at a certain point in time. But when you do have a request, so if you're, if you're doing a good job of nurturing your sphere, putting other valuable content in front of them, when you do need to ask for something, if you ask for their help, and you also, one of the things I liked about what she did is she directed it at other people. She didn't say, hey, are you thinking about moving? Because we need your house to sell to these these buyers, she said, do you know anybody who is, can you help me meet them? And so that feels less direct. And this is actually something I used to use when I would recruit is you ask somebody who you want to recruit, hey, who do you know that would like to do this amazing thing? And they go, wait a second, what about me? You know, it's, it sort of forces them to go, well, can I do it too, right? That sounds great. So asking for help and directing the message at who do you know that might be thinking about selling their house because right now is the time to do it that's going to elicit, in our, in our experience, a really positive response. And it's not going to feel nearly as promotional to the recipients that are receiving it. Now, that being said, video messaging is so powerful right now. And it's so new that I would imagine you could probably just send a video that says, hey, I'm just checking in. Are you thinking about buying or selling a house right now? I really want to talk to you. If you are, let's chat. And that would probably work too, just because a bunch of people are going to watch it and pay attention to it. And there, there probably are a couple of them that are thinking about buying and selling, right? So here's Carla's script. I'm not going to read it out loud, but I am going to leave it on the screen here for just a minute or two. Um, this is your chance to, to take a picture, get a screenshot, however you want to write this down. Uh, although I will say this, which is that the concept of her script is really simple. All right. And she, she gave us permission to share this, which I thought was really generous. But she said, hey, I've seen other videos that use the same angle. I remember Jeff making a video a few weeks ago that used kind of the same comparison, right? The, the toilet paper shortage, <clears throat> excuse me, versus the housing shortage. And that's it, right? So that she just used that as, as sort of a hook. It's sort of a way to, to make a little bit of a funny joke, to use some props, to grab some attention. And then she, she has a request, which is just, hey, if you know anybody that might be thinking about selling, 
this is the time to talk to them. And I would really love to have a conversation with them. All right. So here's what I want you to do. You can take this script by all means and, and use it. Obviously, there's a couple of things you'd want to customize if you're going to uh, mention someone's name or your own name. Um, but that's it, right? You can take it and use it or you can write your own, right? And what I would do is I would highly recommend you rewrite this into your own words. If you try to use a script that's in someone else's, uh, you know, sort of the way they would talk, then you're going to sound like you're reading a script because you're not, it's just it's going to be disjointed from how you normally talk, right? So I would take this and I would rewrite it into your own words. It might not change it all that much, but even just a few words getting shifted around is, is probably going to make it sound more like it's actually you. Now, this is one example. I do have another script I'm going to show you a little bit later in the presentation, um, but I wanted to get you this one right off the bat because there you go. We've been, we've been talking about Carla. Now you've seen her video. Now you've seen her script. And you know you can take this, get out there, start sending video messages, and you should see some results, right? So we'll start there. What we're going to do next is obviously talk about the how. How do you do this? What are the steps you're going to go through? Nick, how long was her, how long was her video? Under a minute. I don't know exactly. I think it came in about fifty seconds or so. I'd have to go back and look. But yeah, it's it's not very long. I mean, and, and they shouldn't be. I don't. I mean, honestly, especially if you use a tool like BombBomb, it will say if the video is over a minute or under. You know, so it'll tell people that before they actually watch it. So if you can keep it under a minute, they know it's it's a very small commitment. And we have seen you'll get more clicks on it if it is under a minute. So that, that's definitely a good point. All right, moving on. Let's talk about how to do this, right? Well, here's the first thing I want you to understand. Keep this as simple as humanly possible, all right? We know this from our students. We know this from conversations we've had with lots of real estate agents. It is very easy to overcomplicate this process, all right? Now, you may want to think a little bit about what's behind you before you hit record. You may want to think about where the light is shining from. We're going to talk about some of those things today, but please do not hesitate to send a message because you don't think it looks or sounds good enough. That is not something people are going to spend much time judging you on, right? You have to remember these are one to one. Only one person is receiving this video. So if it looks highly produced, that's kind of weird, right? Like if you were to sit down and get all situated and spend 10 minutes just to have a phone call with one person, that would be a little bit, you know, a little bit overkill. So just be natural. Just take a, take a hammer or take your phone out, shoot the video wherever you are. Don't worry about getting it perfect. Just worry about being authentic, right? So what I would do is I would read over that script a bunch of times, get really familiar with it. So you don't need to have it actually in front of you. And then don't worry about saying it word for word, right? It just needs to feel authentic and conversational, hit the button, record the video, and then send it out, right? So let's start there, which is just keep it as simple as possible. That being said, I am gonna give you a few tips here. So I'm just gonna give you, these are, these are very basic tips, but again, if you cannot execute on what I'm about to show you, ignore it, all right? You just need to send the video messages. That is all that has to happen. So there's a couple of things you can do with lighting. The main thing I want you to understand with lighting, because this is just so easy to avoid, is that you just need to face your lighting source, all right? That's all this comes down to. When you're gonna send a, a personalized one-to-one -one video message, you just need to, to not be underneath an overhead light or to not have light shining from weird directions, all right? So the place the light should be coming from is the same direction as your camera, right? So here's a super simple thing you can do if you look like this. So actually, if you're at home and you wanna kind of practice along a little bit, I would open up the selfie camera on your phone right now and just take a look at yourself. See how you look where you're sitting, right? You might find that, hey, I look pretty good. This is where I'm gonna shoot my videos. If you don't like how you look, then try moving around the room a little bit, right? Maybe try turning off the overhead lights. Sometimes you think you don't have enough light in the room and you actually do, right? So let me show you what I mean. This is the same room. This is me just three feet away from that previous picture. The difference is here is that I turned off the overhead lights and I stood in front of a window. All right, that's it. I stood in front of, I faced the window. You don't want the window behind you. You want the window in front of you and you want the camera between you and the window and that's it. And you can see how much better that lighting looks. So again, these are simple things. You don't need to go buy equipment. You don't need to do anything complicated whatsoever. You just need to think for just a couple seconds about where you're standing or where you're sitting and then move a little bit if you need to, right? In fact, if you're sitting in a, in a swivel chair right now, you could probably hold your selfie camera up and just sort of rotate a little bit. And you're gonna find all of a sudden one side, you're gonna look a lot better than the other because of the way the light shines, all right? So just do that little experiment and you can find a spot where you look your best. If you need to, there's, an, there's this clip on light, all right? So again, I don't want you to buy something to get started doing this, 
But if you need to, this Oxiwa clip-on selfie ring light just literally clips onto the top of your phone. It's going to give you some decent light. And so if you're filming maybe in the evening when the sun's already gone down or if you're in the basement and there's no good sources of light, that is one thing you can do. But as long as you face the light source, you should be good to go. All right, do we have any other questions? I guess we could take a quick, a quick pause here. I'm not watching the chat. Yeah, so you, yeah, there's there's some questions. Uh, Jennifer's got a good question. If she's not using a special app, will the video be too large of a file to send, which is a great point when it comes to text. Uh, so what do you recommend on that, Nick? We're going to get there in a second, but we will cover that. Absolutely. All right, perfect. Um, we've had some vertical and horizontal questions. Um, I don't know if you have an opinion on that. I don't think it really matters for this purpose, but uh, kind of depends on how you're going to multi-purpose probably. What I'll say, well, actually, let me just skip to this next uh, slide because it actually talks pretty much about that. I'm going to say I'm going to lean towards vertical for one to one video messages, not necessarily from a formatting perspective that that part doesn't really matter. It can be either direction. And so if you're sitting in a computer and you're using a webcam, that's fine. That's not going to be vertical. That is OK, though. Right. The reason I, I tend to go in the direction of vertical for these is that I feel like it feels a little bit more personable, right? It's a little bit more because because you got to think about what you see, right? So that, that brings us to the second tip, which is if you're doing these with your phone, frame yourself correctly, right? You want to be in the frame. You want to fill up most of the frame. And that's why I prefer vertical slightly over horizontal is that you can see more of the person in a vertical video and you also tend to be closer to the camera, right? And so you think about the user experience, most people are probably gonna end up seeing these videos on their phone because you know everything keeps heading more in the direction of the phone versus the computer. And so if I'm watching it on the phone and it's vertical and I hold the phone out in front of myself while I watch it, it's pretty close to your face being you know, not, not quite the same size as it would be in person, but it's not that far off. And so I think it has a little bit more of a feeling of, of actually having a face-to-face -face conversation. But again, that's small. So the benefit there, it's minor. That's where I would sort of lean in that direction. Um, but I'm gonna say the, the more important aspect here is what is easiest for you to do. So if it's a webcam and it's easiest for you to sit in front of the computer and send these messages, then just do that, right? So hope, hopefully that answers the question. Yeah. Anything absolutely. else you wanted to cover before? Uh, we there, was, there was one other one from, from David about, about uh, cuts you personalize the video taking into account the you know taking into consideration the age of the person um talking about you know doing a lot of cuts versus doing one that flows all the way through um he actually mentions david mentions that it's it's he thinks it's lazy doing the cuts i would argue that and say it's a hell of a lot more time consuming to do cuts to videos um there's a reason why they do that and it's because it works um, I've never heard that before. I've never heard that an uh, older clientele prefers a free flowing video versus the younger audience liking jump cuts. Have you guys heard that before? I haven't personally heard that. No, Tristan has. I don't think it matters, David, to be honest with you. I think you do you, to be honest with you. Um, the, the, my opinion is that the world is leaning towards the cuts. Uh, and there's a couple of reasons for it. It's because it's more efficient, uh, a more efficient video, not efficiently made video. It takes more time to create a jump cut video uh, versus just free flowing. But free flowing, you tend to uh, vomit and you tend to just ramble versus one that is more properly scripted or cut to where you're cutting out the fluff. And so although there might be cuts, it free flows and it's much more efficient to the point. So I don't know that age really matters. It depends on the person. Do you would you rather watch the the same video that takes two to three minutes to 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 spew out, or would you rather watch the same video that takes less than sixty seconds? I would argue that most would probably opt for the sub sixty second, regardless of age. But again, to each their own. You do what is you're most comfortable with because there's no wrong way to shoot video in our opinion, as long as you're doing it. Yeah, and, and that's that's kind of always the answer, right? <laughs> I think whatever gets you to send the video messages, the rest doesn't matter, right? So whatever you think is the best. Um, I always try to err on on kind of what Jeff is exactly saying, which is just whatever's going to get it done. So simple is usually better. And that is why we recommend scripts for these. You know, I, I don't want you to feel like you're, you're reciting a script when you're saying the words, but it will keep you concise, right? It'll keep you from rambling on. Um, and I actually think even Carla's video probably could have been shorter, right? There's probably a few more sentences in there we could cut out. Um, and you know, it doesn't take a lot. You can send a 20 second video message and get great results with it. 
Um, it's just whatever, whatever's going to get you to do it, I think is what you want to focus on. All right. Do we have, uh, anyway, so I don't know if we have any other questions. Good. I do want to take oh, away. a quick break here. Well, not really a break, just a quick mention here. Um, we have a class that's actually about this particular topic. It's about more than that, but our very first class, I think I mentioned that is the class Carla went through to start sending these messages. Um, we have one starting in a week. So I did want to mention it during this webinar. Um, there are 43 total spots left. I would expect that our current students will probably take up another 10 to 20 of those spots. So for those of you that are here watching this today, if you have been thinking, hey, it would be cool if I could get some additional training on this, in particular, if I could learn uh, a lot of the tips and tricks on how to shoot the videos in the first place, how to hold the camera correctly, you know, all this stuff. I mean, we're giving you some, some quick tips today, um, but we have a class that's coming up. And then one other cool thing about this class that starts in a week is that we have a new thing uh, that we just introduced. I don't know if thing's the right word. We have a new, uh, a new offering and it's, it's called Labs. Um, and I know, Jeff, I don't know if you guys, you and Tristan have even heard about this yet, but we're doing something new where actually instead of sitting through a one hour class, which is a lot of our content is, is one hour classes, you're actually gonna come on and you're gonna send video messages for an hour. So we're gonna get you situated. You're gonna go through five weeks of training and then week six, seven, and eight are actually just showing up and then we're gonna facilitate you sending at least 10 video messages. So if you're the kind of person that's also having trouble being accountable to doing these sorts of things, that would probably be a really, really good fit for you. So I just wanted to mention this now because I, I often kind of wait till too late in the presentation. I'm putting a link in the chat right now that'll take you directly to our website where you can learn more about the school and get yourself signed up. The way this works is if you wanna be in this class, you do need to have a membership to business video school first, and then you'll be able to sign up for classes. And there's a lot of other classes. It's not the only one, but this is the right fit if you're just getting started with this stuff. So check it out, click that link at any point in the next 20, 30 minutes. And if you're ready, get yourself signed up, right? Because if you feel like you need help here, now is definitely the time to do this. Now is when you wanna learn to send video messages and start pulling listings from your sphere. And you could be up and running in a matter of just weeks. Definitely, definitely look into it, all right? I'll try to mention that again at the end, but let's get back to the content. All right, so we gave you a couple of quick tips on uh, sort of how to make the videos look a little better. Let's get into the tech stuff, right? Because this is where I think this can, this can get really confusing for folks. First thing I wanna mention is this. You gotta be careful about sending a video and a text or an email directly. There's lots of ways to make that happen that require an additional tool. But if you put a, a video and a text, here's what's gonna happen. If you send that video to somebody that has the same kind of phone that you do, it's probably gonna be fine, right? So if you have an iPhone, you text an iPhone, a lot of times you can send a video and it won't, it won't change anything. If you send it to an Android device though, it is going to compress the hell out of it, all right? It's gonna basically go from full HD down to like 100p or something. I don't know, you can't even see what's going on in the video. And I have, I have some relatives that will do this. They'll text me videos sometimes. And I'm like, I don't, I can't hear what you're saying. And I can't even see if it's you. I, I don't know what this is, you know? And that's why it's because that when you communicate between devices, you have issues. So be careful there. And the other thing is email, right? You would think maybe I can just shoot a video and throw it as an attachment to an email. Well, to some degree you can, but there's two problems. First of all, many email platforms don't allow videos over 25 megabytes. And most videos, unless you do some extra work to compress the video are gonna be over 25 megabytes, even if they're short. The other problem is that even if you do get it attached to the email, emails with large files attached to them tend to get flagged more often. They tend to have deliverability problems. And especially if you're gonna be doing this over and over again, you might actually lose some of those emails. So keep that in mind. What we're gonna do next is we're gonna show you how to do this, um, but just be careful if you try to do it directly, all right? I'm gonna give you three different tiers, okay? <laughs> there's, there's three different sort of versions of how you can send these video messages. The first is the free one. We always like to give people at least one option that is technically free. So here's what you would do in that case. You would take your video, you'd record it with your phone or through your computer, whatever you wanna do. You would upload it to YouTube as an unlisted video, right? What that means is that you cannot get to the video unless you have the link. So that means nobody else can see it. And then you send that link through anything, through an email, through text, whatever it is, to the recipient, all right? Now the downside is that it takes a lot of extra work. So I do not recommend this, but again, it is the free way to do it. The other downside is that when you get a link in an email or a text, and that's all you're getting, right? I mean, you could write more, to, uh, you could explain it obviously, but people tend to be suspicious of that. So if all I see is a link and you say, hey, hey check this out on YouTube, I'm gonna be a little reluctant to click on it, right? 
Now the other two versions I'm gonna talk about next, they're gonna, they're gonna improve on that. So the next level here would be in my mind is using messenger apps. And actually Facebook, LinkedIn, and Instagram all have a video messaging feature built into their apps, all right? So I'm gonna show you a little bit of a version of this on Facebook and Instagram in just a second. The beauty of that is that it's built in, it's super streamlined, right? I can literally go on Facebook, I can find somebody I wanna send a video message to, somebody that's in my, my SOI, my database, click message, message, right? It's gonna open up the app, hit the record button, send your video, that's it, right? Very simple to do. The downside to doing this approach is that you have to be connected to the person on social media already. So if you're not connected to a lot of people in your sphere, if you just have their contact information maybe, that is not gonna be a pretty viable option for you. However, I do strongly encourage you to get connected to the people in your sphere on social media because obviously that's a great place to engage and interact with them. And so I'm gonna come back to that in just a second to show you a little bit of how to do it, but it is really simple. The third option that you have available is to use a video email platform. Um, I personally use BombBomb. There's, there's Dub, CoVideo, Loom. There's a lot of different options out there. There's a few things that these platforms do that I really like. Number one is that they're very easy to use and they tend to be integrated, at least BombBomb is, in most of the things that I'm already using. So I can put an extension in Chrome. Anytime I wanna send a video message, I click the extension, it opens up my recording and I, and I bust off a video, right? I have the app on my phone. I can do the same thing there. I've got a plugin in Gmail. So if I open up an email, I literally have a record button in the email, right? So it's super convenient. I love that about it. Another thing that's really cool, and this is again, bomb bomb specific, but I think these other platforms tend to do something similar is that they'll actually take the first few seconds of your video and they'll turn it into a little GIF preview. So the first few seconds automatically loop and play over and over again, right? That's gonna drastically increase the amount of people who click on the link and watch the video because now it doesn't look like a suspicious link, right? Because here's the thing, especially if you personalize this and you do that thing I was talking about, maybe write their name on a whiteboard and hold that up right at the beginning of your video, they get an email or a text and it's got this little preview of you waving at them with their name on a whiteboard, right? That feels like, hey, you know, I can probably trust this. They're gonna be a lot more likely to click on it and actually watch it, right? There's also some really cool tracking features. Um, there's a lot of really, really kind of extra level stuff that you get with these tools. You're gonna spend between 20 and 50 bucks a month in my experience, but think about it, right? If you're gonna be getting listings as a result of this, that is a tiny, tiny cost um, considering the benefit that you're gonna potentially get, all right? So those are the three tiers. You got your free version, you got your secondary free version, but you do have to be connected to people on social media for it to work. And then obviously you have the paid version at the end. Uh, I want to add to that, uh, yeah. Nick, is that I would tell you guys this, I've done all of the above and I will tell you it is worth the investment to get an email video platform. I use BombBomb. I, I want to say it's around 30 bucks a month nowadays. Um, you guys might know better than I do, but somebody that asked that the, if you're going to use it and, and you should, especially if you're going to be sending this out, if you have a big database, there is nothing easier. Cause I used to do it the old way. I would shoot the video uh, on, on like a zoom or on my phone and I would upload it to YouTube and then I would have to send, I mean, it's so time consuming. Um, it's, it's ridiculous. And you can send bomb bombs via text. That was another question. So you can do text or email. You can do it on your mobile device or on your computer. Uh, and I assume most of the video platforms are the same. It is a worthy, worthy investment in my opinion. Yeah, I saw a question about, can you send text uh, via BombBomb? So you can't send the, the text through BombBomb. It's not a text platform, but you can take the link and put it into any other text, right? And it actually will show up and play the little GIF preview when they receive the text, which is, you know, I think that is cool, right? Because if I get a text with a link in it, I'm probably not clicking on that link. If I can see the little preview and I know it's a video and I know what I'm getting, I'm much more likely to click on it. So Cool. Any other questions you guys have seen? I think we're good. I think you've got it all covered. Uh, one question from Rick about the class you were talking about. Can it be taken on one's own time versus scheduled? Um, yes, actually. And, I, and I, if we have time at the end, just stick around. I'd be happy to answer more questions about the class. I do want to get through the webinar presentation. But yes, you can take the classes both on demand or at the scheduled time. So if you want to get ahead and you're going, hey, I want to hit the ground run. I want to take all these classes and start sending video messages in a week you can do it, right? So we, we do allow that flexibility. 
And somebody did share the bomb bomb uh, link, by the way, it ranges from 30 to 50 bucks a month, depending on which right. one you use. Yep. Which I mean, I think is a, is a bargain for what you're able to do with it. Put 100%. It that 100%. All right, let's talk about the messenger apps. The only thing I really wanna mention here is just how to do this um, because it can be a little bit counterintuitive. So when you open up the, so here's how you do it, right? You find the person you wanna send a message to, you click on send message, right? That, that part should be pretty self-explanatory. Once you get into the messenger app and keep in mind, this is on the phone. It's gonna look different if you do it on the computer. There's a button that just looks like a camera. So we're right next to where you, you type out the text. You wanna see the button that looks like a camera. Click on that, right? I think we actually have the icon right here on your screen. So it looks like this. Click on that. And then this is what you see, right? So you see yourself, you see the selfie camera. Here's the part that's a little bit counterintuitive. That white button in the middle of the screen, which is typically a photo button. So right? if you click on it, it'll take a picture. It also records video if you hold it down, right? So that's something I think some people get a little confused by is to record video, you hold down the picture button, right? That's all you got to do. As soon as you start holding it down, it's going to start recording. So just be ready for that. If you, if you mess up, you can always delete it and start over. Um, but keep this in mind too. Facebook is limited to 20 seconds. I do believe Instagram will let you go longer or it'll make additional uh, clips and things like that. But, but Facebook is 20 seconds. So here's the thing. You want to send a video longer than 20 seconds. What you're going to have to do in that case is just record it in the camera app on your phone and then come into here. And you see where these little red arrows are on the screen? Those point to the gallery icon. You can open up your gallery, you can find the video, and you can send it that way. So that's kind of your hack to get around the 20 second limit. Um, but again, think of it as, hey, I got 20 seconds. What can I say in 20 seconds? And try to get it done in that amount of time because that is easiest, right? That's going to, I mean, think about how easy this is, especially if you have, um, let's say you've created a friends list and you've got your top 100 contacts on that friends list and you wanna make sure you stay really, really well in touch with those people. I mean, Tristan talks all the time about, you know, like, comment, and messaging people, right? So you can, I mean, actually, want, Tristan, you wanna just sort of share that strategy real quick for everybody? Yeah, That's when it comes to this, you wanna be able to connect with people at a deeper level, especially if they're in your sphere inside of your social media. So what I do typically in the morning, <laughs> my dog loving what I'm saying, so, what I do typically in the morning is we assign 20 minutes for our team to be able to reach out to all of their sphere. We open up Facebook and as people pop up in our feed, oh, there's Nick and then there's Jeff. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to like comment message, which I'm gonna like what I saw from Nick. Then I'm gonna comment, I'm gonna be like, man, that that's super cool. Like, where did you get that sent? And then I'm going to go to message and I'm either going to video them and be like, that's super cool, man. I love what you got. Can you tell me what, what got you to get it or what inspired you to buy it? Or I'm going to message them. I'm going to be like, Hey bro, that's super cool. Dot, dot, dot. How much did that cost? Send. So it's a process that allows you to connect with people much deeper. Love it. Yeah. And there you go. Perfect opportunity to use the, the 20 second uh, videos on Facebook or Instagram, right? Cool, good stuff. All right, so here's your second video example. So now this is another one you can you can write down um, or take a picture of or whatever it is. And here's the thing, right? I mean, th this is something that um, if you read through this, I mean, I, let me just read it real quick to you. So it'd be, hi, Susan, thanks for, uh, thanks for tapping on this video. I promise I won't take more than one minute of your time. I'm reaching out because I've got a problem you might be able to help me with. See, I've had several prospective home buyers simply give up over the last few months. They've been searching for a home to buy, but there really just aren't enough properties available right now. And so they're giving up. It's frustrating and disheartening for them to say the least. So I'm wondering if you have anyone in your circle that might be entertaining the idea of selling their home. Uh, they don't have to be committed to selling, just thinking about it because right now sellers are getting top dollar for their homes because of the high demand for properties. You know, anyway, just uh, thanks for watching this. And if you know of anyone who might fit this description, I would really love an introduction to them, all right? So very similar to the other video, for being honest, right? We're still asking for the same thing. We're just giving them a bit of a reason as to why to think about it. And we're directing it at a secondary person, right? We're not saying, hey, are you thinking about selling? Because we naturally think of ourselves immediately. In fact, you can make an argument that the only person any of us ever think about is ourselves in many ways, right? And so when I hear that message, I'm going to think about myself first. That's just sort of what naturally happens here. 
And so that is a great way to do it because it's gonna make your video feel less promotional, right? So you can get a sense from this that if I were to see this message from someone, I'm not gonna to think to myself, oh, wow, what a sleazy salesperson. I'm gonna think, oh man, that really sucks. I, I really feel for those people. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna ask around. I'm gonna see if any of my family's thinking about moving or my friends are. Or again, if you'd been entertaining the idea, you're gonna go, well, you know what? Maybe this is my chance. Maybe I could actually not only make some money, but I could even help somebody out um, who's really in need at the moment, right? So take that and run with it whatever direction you want. You can use it word for word. Obviously, you can use Carlos, but the idea here is put it into your own words. Come up with a version of these messages that fits the way you talk and then adjust it to that, right? And then what I would do is take that script, rehearse it, read it five, six times, try to record it once, right? Read it five or six more times, try to record it again. And then once you've gotten some reps under your belt, because practice is always ex extremely helpful with these sorts of things, then you can start banging out the messages and getting them into people's inboxes, right? Doesn't have to take long. You can literally get this up and running in, in, a, in a couple hours, right? It doesn't have to be complicated. Um, but there are all kinds of things that, that obviously we could teach you um, and help you out with. So, yeah, I mean, that brings us to the end here. And, and honestly, uh, I've done this presentation, you know, I did a couple of times kind of preparing and, and for a couple other groups. And the truth is, there's not that much to this, okay? Like, I mean, you could present on this for, for many hours if we wanted to, but it doesn't have to be that complicated. You just got to start sending messages to people, all right? So I know we did have a couple of questions about the course that's coming up. If you have no interest in getting additional help on this, you know, obviously you're, you're welcome to hop off at this point. But if you do want to hang around for a couple minutes, I'd be happy to answer your questions um, about the course we have coming up. So this is happening April 28th is when it starts. Um, we did have a question about, hey, can I take these courses on my own or these classes on my own? You can at any time on demand in our library. So that's absolutely true. What we have found is that by taking these classes with other students, you tend to stay more accountable and you tend to stay more focused on the subjects, right? So if you like the idea of, hey, all I have to do is show up at the same time on the same day of the week, every week for eight total weeks, right? That's the, that's the length of this first course. That's all you got to do. And what you're going to be doing is by the end of that, for the remaining three weeks at the end of those eight weeks, you're just going to be sending video messages. You're literally going to be generating business for yourself by week six, okay? Now, that doesn't mean you can't start sending video messages sooner. Whenever you feel ready to go, you can start communicating that way. Um, but we're going to get you there no matter what, right? So we are going to hold you accountable. We are going to push you a little bit. Those are things we really believe in uh, inside a business video school. And so that's how this works, right? So if you want to join up, uh, what you would do is go get yourself signed up right now, right? I'm going to go ahead and put that link in the chat again just to make it super easy for you. Uh, but get yourself signed up and then you'll get yourself enrolled in this course once you have membership, all right? So you do need to get your membership first. Once you're enrolled, we'll get in touch with you to get registered for the course and you don't have to register for it. So if you want to get signed up in the school and then just take these courses on your own time, and again, starting immediately, you can start right after this, this webinar is over, um, that is fine. You can go that route as well, right? So let me mention a couple other things that we do cover in this course, because that is more than obviously what we just talked about today. One of the things we're gonna start out with is video fundamentals. So if you've never made a video in your life, or if you're feeling a little bit uncomfortable about being on camera, we're going to teach you how to get over those fears and we're going to teach you how to shoot uh, a video that looks and sounds respectable, right? How to make something that's professional looking, but that doesn't require equipment. It doesn't require a bunch of editing, right? You don't have to have any advanced skills to get started. Um, we're going to talk about a big one here is video topics and ideas. So in just the third or fourth week, you're also going to start to have ideas for how you can start using social media to attract additional business, right? So you're going to, you're going to talk to you about how to identify your ideal audience and then create ideas for videos that resonate with that audience. I think that can be really helpful. And then the rest of it, I think I've already talked about, which is how to send one-to-one -one video messages. We got a couple of classes that really dive deep into that, the way that these processes and these tools work, et cetera. And then the labs and the labs are, we're gonna literally give you scripts, right? We got a couple of examples today. We have a whole bunch of additional scripts to share with you and you're gonna get those scripts and be able to use them in those labs, right? Um, so that starts in just one week. If you get yourself signed up today, you'll be able to get your spot reserved. Once it fills up, you know, there will be additional classes that open in the future. And we even have uh, several additional classes already scheduled on our website if you want to take a look if for some reason this time, this time doesn't work for you. Um, but it will fill up and there is a cap. There's a cap of 50 total. I think 
Uh, we currently have 43 spots left. Obviously, you want to get, get on that quickly because these things always fill up in the last couple of days. Uh, in my experience. So there's a lot of other parts of the school. This is not meant to be a big pitch for the school today. Obviously, we'd be happy to give you a tour at some point. Um, we do have just three or four minutes left. If you have any questions um, about what we covered today or about the school, I'd be happy to answer those. But again, if this sounds interesting at all, if you feel like, you know what, it would, would be really helpful to have some help here, um, get over to our website and check it out today and get yourself enrolled and we'll get you into that first course. All right, let's see, do we have any other, any questions or anything else we want to follow up on? It doesn't look like it. Tristan's been answering some. If you've got any questions, throw it in there. So there's one about, yeah, so it's 97 bucks a month, right? And it's eight weeks. So yeah, you could pay for two months and you'd be able to take uh, the first class. And so, yeah, it's, it's a monthly subscription. So it's 97 bucks a month. It, at any time, if you need to cancel, move on, you know, no hard feelings whatsoever. We have a lot more than just this first course. So we have video recipes. We send a new one of those every single week. Um, we have a whole bunch of additional courses. We do these fun accountability challenges pretty much every month. There's a big community inside our Facebook group you can get engaged with. So th there's a lot included in the school. Obviously, I'm not going over all of it today, um, but you get access to all of it for 97 bucks a month. And Julia, uh, you can send your bomb bombs via text. You're not, you're, so basically you're creating them within the BombBomb app or online, and then you're just using the BombBomb video to put in the text, but yes, you can. Cool, cool. I think that's it. Uh, is, is, it's, it's not necessarily a link, Julia. I mean, I guess it is, but it also comes up as you can, you get the uh, three second loop. So it's gonna show up on their phone with the loop. Uh, as a link. So it's just better than just a general link. So it's actually something they're going to see and they're going to clearly see that it's you in the video. Um, so it's less, uh, I guess, concerning. Right. Yeah, Angela's right too. Some of the major CRMs are adding video capability. Tristan, are you using any CRMs with video capability? Mm, like built into it? Yeah. Dude, not not really i mean there are there are small ones that do it but usually the big ones they they have an api integration with bomb bomb or something like it referral maker angela says referral maker which is the buffini one if you're wondering hmm. kv cores got it built in nice so the ones that that i was referring to commission zinc works with bomb bomb chime also works with bomb bomb doesn't have a built-in one command doesn't have anything yet um, follow-up boss integrates with everything so that's a really good one to look at and um, like they said kv core's got it built in now the capabilities of the video you're not going to find the expansiveness of what bomb bomb has to offer i agree with jeff it's so, so easy and you get a lot of benefits from such a low price too. So definitely do Bombo. My dog says Bomb Bomb too. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> uh, that was it guys. Awesome. Cool. All righty. Well, thanks for being here, everybody. Bye everybody. Thanks for being on. <laughs>